This is not my hold, Lowlander. I will not shed your blood here. You will face the full might of the jaws of Hakon soon enough. We've heard of your arrival, Lowlanders. Come, share my fire where we might speak. Inquisitor, I am Svara Sunhair, Thane of Stone Bear Hold. You have guest welcome here. The Lowlanders have little love for your Dalish clans. I am impressed that you came to lead their Inquisition. You and your people have come far from the safety of the Lowlands. We have not come to cause trouble in your home, Thane. We have learned that the last Inquisitor may have died here hundreds of years ago. We seek his body. Giving peace to the dead is a worthy quest. Any help we can offer is yours. Sadly, the Jaws of Hakon will not offer so warm a welcome. You have met their thane, Gerd Harrifson. I wager you have crossed blades with the Jaws of Hakon in the wilderness. If you would search this place for your Inquisitor's body, they will want you to pay in blood. When I first entered your hold, there was a climbing contest of some sort. What was that? The test of the lady. We use it to settle disputes when it is not clear who has the right of it. There are others. For the test of the Mountain Father, you battle with verse while those who favor you hold you aloft. The test of Hakon is battle with blunted weapons. It seems as fair a way as any to decide such matters. In many cases, the law is clear. The tests are only for real disputes. As Thane, I may guide the gods in finding who is worthy. I decide which test will settle the dispute. I may also ask a warrior whose claim is foolish to climb with stones strapped to his back. I'd like to hear more about Stonebear Hold. We are not the largest hold, but our warriors are strong, and our singers are pretty. Ah, words are for boasting around the fireside. You should look yourself, if you will. I'd like to know more about the Jaws of Hakon. They are not the first hold to take that name. All have been foolish. What would you know of them? What do the Jaws of Hakon believe that makes them so angry? A wise man honors each god to its strength. Bjorn Reedbeard for fishing, Rilla of the Fireside for making babies. The Hakonites care only for Hakon Winter's breath, god of war and winter. There is no evil in Hakon. There are times to fight, but the Jaws of Hakon care for nothing else. They raid, they fight. Eventually, they die and their stories are forgotten. It is the way of things. What can you tell me of the people now calling themselves the Jaws of Hakon? They came here a few years ago, after the Blight took their hold. There was land enough for both, so we were friendly. We did not see their anger. Gerd Harrifson lost too many in his hold to Darkspawn. He thought only of battle and war. To avenge a wrong is a good thing, but only a fool lights the world on fire to do it. You said that there were earlier groups known as the Jaws of Hakon. Yes. Many ages ago, they thought of nothing but slaughter glory. They attacked the Lowlanders. Your people fought back and destroyed them. They were fools. I will speak with you later. Fair hunting. Inquisitor. How did you get the name Sunhair? I was born Svara Jaina's daughter. For my legend mark, I once fought a battle with my hair on fire. You lit your hair on fire? An enemy archer lit my hair on fire. I was locked shield to shield with a foe, and I had no time to douse it. It scared my foes. My hair was braided long enough that I could spare it. It stank worse than goat shit, though. The Hakonites are attacking my people. I would welcome any assistance you could offer. Bathing my blade in the blood of the Hakonites would be cause for a feast for most in this hold. But the Hakonites are fools, and they have forgotten the old ways. But we have pledged peace with them. To attack with Lowlanders at our side would make us Oathbreakers. This is poor weather for me to ask that of my hold. 
What would change the weather? Among the Abar, a hold draws strength from its hold beast. They are as kin to us. When our hold beast is strong and happy, there is joy. When it sickens and dies, it is an ill omen. Our bear, Storbacher, has not been seen in days. The hold fears for her. I cannot ask the hold to break peace oaths unless Storvaka returns. Do you have any members of the hold searching for Storvaka? The hold is already fearful. A great hunt for our hold beast would show weakness to the Hakonites. If she were dead, the Augur would know. So the hunters watch for tracks. That is all we can do. The way you asked us to help find Storvaka made it sound like you were willing to break your oath. I could say that Avar hold all oaths sacred. That no true Avar would break them. It would be a good lie. Lowlanders doubtless say the same of themselves. A cunning Thane can find a hole in the tent of any promise. A place for the cold wind to sneak in. We are bone and blood. Oaths last until they are broken. If I find your bear and you break the oath, what happens to Stone Bear Hold? Other holds share oaths with the jaws of Hakon. They are sworn to defend or avenge them. If the Hakonites were friends, they would attack us. But they are friends to few. We will send offerings, trade, and gifts to pay the price of oath breaking. The storm will pass. I do not do this lightly, Inquisitor. But the Hakonites are tiresome. I am a little confused about why I have to find a bear in order to gain the support of your tribe. Storvacker is not a bear. She is our hold beast. She ties us to the gods. Without her, we... I have heard your elf gods turn from you. Is that not a bad thing? It is as that. I know more of this world than the world of spirits. Speak with our augur if you would know more. They're our gods, not yours. For you, it is enough that Storvaka matters to us. Does Storvaka usually live in the hold? Does she stay in a pen, or...? <clears throat> Pens are for goats and chickens, not hold kin. The Avar are free. So must be our hold beasts. Storvaka lives in a cave near the hold. She comes to visit if she wishes to see us. We bring her gifts of food. Not enough that she will not hunt for herself. Maybe I shouldn't bring this up, but bears and I traditionally do not get along. You were fought bears. <laughs> you lived. Good for you. Fear will keep you respectful should you find Storvaka. You will be fine. So you're saying she's friendly? Um... I will speak with you later. Ask those in the hold about Storvaka. They may know something they have not told me. strange stories of looking at all these in books. Inquisitor, you've need of a hunter, or you're just wondering. Doubt you lowlanders see many holds, but I'll tell you, there are none finer. I assume you go hunting yourself. Of course I do. Who says otherwise? No one. I lead our hunts, Inquisitor. My leg aches, one eye can't see in the dark, and I bring more meat than anyone in the hold. Goat's piss, do I hunt? A yes would have been fine. <laughs> Suppose you can't help Lowlander's manners. Do you have any idea where Storvaka has gone? Our hold animal's a hungry one. She might be after the game in the valley to the west. As the weather's turning, I'd not think she'd roam further. Farewell. Farewell. Inquisitor, I'm honored by your visit. I'm Finn Co- 
Um, Finn Colvinson. Forgive me if I don't stand to greet you properly. How were you injured? A storm blew up a few months back. It's the worst we've seen in a while. I was helping to secure the fishing boat. Einar nearly fell in. I caught him, but the current caught me. My leg got crushed against the rocks. It hasn't set properly. You seem troubled. Is it your injury? In part. Gida Myrdotten prepares my father's body for sky burial. I'm sorry. <sighs> I knew it would be soon. I just... I miss him. I'll let you rest. Lady, keep you. <laughs> 